Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this session, we will learn SAP MM Material Master. So, in this session, we will learn definition of Material Master, characteristics of Material Master followed by Material Type, Material Group and Number Range, then how to create, edit and display material and what are Material Master tables. Let's start with definition of Material Master. Material Master contain all the material that a company can procure, produce or sell. Suppose a company contain have to procure 100 materials. So those 100 materials can be grouped together and they are called as material master. Material master is a central data that is available at all the levels starting with client, then company code, then plant and storage location. Now next is the characteristics of material master. First characteristics is material type. Suppose you have wool and a woolen cloth. Wool can be termed as raw material and woolen cloth is a finished product. So these attributes are termed as material type and the standard material types that are available are raw material and finished product. Next characteristics is material group. Material with some common attributes are grouped together. Suppose a material require packaging. So that can be defined under one group. Then next is the number range. Material is identified by a number that comes from a number range. So two types of number range are possible. First is external number range. If you want to define a material according to your wish, you can give your material number or material name. Then next one is internal number assignment. Suppose if you are defining a material and you want a system generated number, so you can define in internal number assignment. Then next is how to create, edit and display material. This will be doing in hands on. So to create material, transaction code is MM01. In SAP, if you want to create, the suffix is 01. If you want to edit, suffix is 02. And if you want to display, suffix is 03. Then next is material master table. Suppose your company can procure, procure, produce or sell 100 materials. Then those can be displayed in a table by going to T code SC16. So the tables are MARA that will display general material data. And next table is MARD that will display storage location data. So let's do all these functions practically. To define characteristics of material like material type, material group, you need to go to display IMG screen. So enter SPRO in command field. Now select SAP reference IMG. This will navigate you to the display IMG screen. First important characteristic is material type. To create a material type, go to logistics general. Select material master. Now select basic settings. Now select material types. Now select define attributes of material types. To create a new entry of material type, click on new entries icon or else we can copy attributes of existing material type and create a new one. So I am copying a material type. Just select material type and click on copy icon. It will open a new page. Here you can change the name of material type. So I am entering test data. First important field on this page is reference material type. So our material type will be created in reference to this material type ROH. Next important field is internal external purchase orders. So you can do the settings whether this material type is to be used for external or internal purchase orders. For example, in case of external purchase orders, you can select 0, 1 or 2. 0 stands for no external purchase orders allowed. One is for external purchase orders allowed but warning issued. So I am selecting as two only. Similarly you can select for internal purchase orders. 
next field is valuation first one is price control this will tell whether the material type is to be valued at standard price or moving price next important field is account category reference it will tell the account into which this is material type is to be valued after filling all the fields of material type just press enter now a new material type will be created now click on save click okay on customizing request pop up a new material type will be created next important characteristic is material group to create a material group go to logistics general then select material master then select settings for key field now select define material group to make a new entry of material group select new entries icon here you need to enter your material group name short description of your material group secondary group number but this is a optional field and here the complete description of your material group so i am entering test data here now press enter now click on save click okay on customizing request pop up a new material group will be created next important characteristic is number range to define number range go to logistic general select material master then select basic settings now select material types select define number range for each material type there are three tabs on this page first one is to display the number range intervals this is the start number range this is the end number range this is the current number this is the check for external or internal number range if this is checked then you can use external number or else it will pick from defined number range also you can modify the status of the current number so go back on the page click on modify status on this page you can modify the current number so for demo i am changing the current number now click on save click okay on this pop up the current number is modified you can also modify the start and end number range so go back to the page click on change intervals for demo i am changing the end number range click on save so the number range will be changed
Now we will create a material. So to create a material, enter the transaction code in command field. So enter slash n mm01 to open in a new page. This is the page for creation of material. You can also navigate via SAP menu. So we'll go back to the home page of SAP. Enter slash n. Now in SAP menu, click logistics. Now select materials management. Now select material master. Now select create general. Now select MM01. You can also view the transaction code of creation of material at the bottom of the page by clicking on this icon. This is MM01. To create a new material, you need to enter the material number if you want the external number range for material. Then you have to enter the industry section like it's a retail, aerospace, service provider. Then you have to enter your material type that you have defined. You can also copy from a material. So you need to enter your, the material from you, which you want to copy. So I am entering a test data here. Now press enter. Now select all the views of the material by clicking on this icon of select. Now click on OK. Here you need to enter the plant storage location for which you are creating a material. You can also enter the sales org and distribution channel. So I am entering test data here. Now click on OK. This will navigate to a new page. Here the material number is generated automatically because of internal number range assignment. Enter the material description in the view basic data 1. Also you need to enter the base unit of measure. Enter the material, material group to which it belong. Enter the gross weight. Gross weight is the weight of container plus weight of material that is the total weight. Net weight is only the weight of material. Next important view is sales, sales or one. Here you need to enter the text jurisdiction code. You can exempt text on this material or you can make it as taxable. So I am entering as zero. That is text exempt. Next import important view is sales general plant. Here you need to enter the transportation group. Suppose if you want to sell it the material in form of pellets or you want to sell it in form of liquid. So you need to enter the transportation group. So I am entering as on pellets. This is the loading group field. 
This will tell how you can load the material. So I am selecting as crane. Next important view is purchasing. Here you can enter the enter tick for batch management whether you want this material to be batch managed or not. So I am making it as batch managed. Next important field is plan data storage one. Here you need to enter shelf life data. Shelf life is nothing but the length of time for which item remains in use. So I am entering its maximum storage period 100. Time unit as days and minimum shelf life remaining as 90 after entering all details about material of the required views click on save you need to enter item category group as well now press enter now click on save item category group that we entered in the last is is the group that will tell whether the material is available for sale or only purchase or only procurement so a new material is created if you want to edit this material or you want to display this material in sap for edit you have the transaction ending as 02 and for display you have 03 so if you want to display a material just enter slash n m m 02 so this material 1535 we can change the details now press enter now if you want to display the material now press slash n mm03 now press enter to display the material details so I am entering as test data to display a material you can select all the views and view the details accordingly next important thing is material master table to view material master table enter slash n se 16 n sc 16 n is for table view you can view any tables in sc 16 n there are two important tables for material master one is mard and one is mara so in the table field name just enter mard this MARD table will display the storage location data for material. Now click on execute icon. So here you can see the material number, plant, storage location, status, date of creation and the stock quantity. Another important table is MARA. So enter MARA in table name field. Click on execute. This table will display general material data like creation date, what is the material type. So this is the material number, this is the creation date, this is created by so in this session we learned characteristics of material like material type, material group, number range 
and how to create change and display a material another important thing that we learnt is the material master tables in next session we'll learn characteristics of vendor and how to create a vendor master